In a mesh-generated donor hematopoietic cell transplantation setting, uh, the use of anti-thymocyte globulin is currently a standard of care. However, in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, we demonstrated in our retrospective analysis uh, that the use of ATG was associated with increased risk of relapse. Now we have alternative, which is post-transplant cyclophosphamide, more and more popular across uh, European and worldwide centers. Uh, and this also used uh, the context of MAT for, a for ALL patients. So in our study, we compared these two approaches, ATG versus uh, post-transplant cyclophosphamide for ALL patients with MAT HCT. Uh, in a univariate analysis, uh, we found that the use of ATG was associated with increased risk of relapse uh, and reduced uh, probability of leukemia-free survival. In a multivariate model adjusted for other prognostic factors, we confirmed the effect on leukemia-free leukemia -free survival, which was reduced for patients treated with ATG compared to PTSI. Uh, so, altogether, although the study was retrospective registry-based, uh, we think it is justified to recommend PTSI as the backbone of immune suppression for patients treated with MATS HCT with ALL in first complete remission. Obviously, our findings require verification in prospective trials.